Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers, and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... Uh, more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well... Except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but... This one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help... I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that. 
no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well... Too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there are reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. I'll pull rank if I have to. Take some R&R &R next time we hit the Citadel. Yes, sir. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Commander? You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. 
That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. At least the galaxy always had you. Lucky galaxy. I certainly think so. Let's talk later, Shepard. What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately 2 kilometers. 
Well, keep talking to the Tyrians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. <laughs>